Hey, 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 everybody, what is going on? Serial of a Jav here, and today I'm playing Escape from Tarkov, the latest and greatest realistic FPS, sort of loot em and shoot em type game. Anyways, what we're going to be doing today is going over how this game runs on low settings. So here you go, the proof is in the pie as I say, this is the low settings, this is sort of what I'm running on, you can see everything is as low as it will go. So what sort of system is required to play this game now first off first things first let me jump right into it if you guys are wondering can your system play this game feel free to comment down below leave your cpu system specs your gpu ram everything like that and i will let you know personally whether or not the game can run on your system the only thing i ask of you guys is if you do that please drop a like and maybe give me a subscription or a sub on youtube I, i'm going out of my way to help you so uh you know the hope is that you guys would help me too but if you don't want to that's okay just leave the comment and i'll read it anyway read it anyways uh, i try to be a good person anyways the official minimum requirements for this game are actually quite low so what, what you're looking at is you can run this on windows 7 8 or 10 which is pretty nice you need a 2.4 gig intel dual core core 2 duo i3 processor or 2.6 gigahertz pentium 2 so that's pretty low you need six gigs of ram but let's be honest you could probably do it with a little bit less if you're rocking four gigs of ram start cutting all those background processes and you'll be good to go and as far as DirectX goes and all that, you just need a graphics card that has one gigabyte of memory. So honestly, like graphics card wise, you're probably looking at, you could probably run it with the latest Intel HD. Um, you could probably run it on any computer that's only like a, a couple of years old, I'd say. Uh, as, as you get lower, if you're running into, if you're using like a GeForce 600 series or something like that, you're probably going to want to start to really like think about whether this is a game for you. So let's go into the system requirements and all of that. Now, as you can see here, the draw distance is pretty good. Coming up in a little bit, there's going to be another player that I see. And you can just see the draw distance on players actually isn't that bad. Uh, there is like the graphics don't look pretty they don't look perfect but again this is low settings when you get inside of a building everything sort of runs pretty nicely in my opinion um, but like you can see here you can still see some of the details you can still see the landscape it doesn't feel polished it doesn't look amazing but everything still feels like you'd expect it to feel the game runs fine there's no lag there's no noticeable difference there's no noticeable thing that's going to hurt you right if you watch some of the high-end videos that are made for this game people are playing on amazing computers and it does look beautiful but if you're running on a low system, like a low end system, that should not be the experience that you're expecting. Uh, for most people, that's not gonna be the experience they're expecting because it's just unrealistic to expect that. Uh, but it, it does, the game still feels good. This game still runs good. You have no problem with looting. As you can see here, I can still see all the bags. There's not stuff that's appearing when I'm like right next to it. I'm not having too much trouble as far as any of that goes, which is always nice. Um, now. Let's go to sort of the player draw distance because this is sort of what matters most. So if you look, we're just going to jump ahead. And at this point, I'm seeing a player. I'm looking at that player. And you can see like the draw distance is pretty good. He sees me about as soon as I see him. You can see off in the distance, we're looking at each other. So the draw distance on characters is a little bit longer than the draw distance on some of these items. It looks like they took a smart approach to this, realizing that it could give you a huge advantage if you can see farther than other people like that's why they don't have glasses in this game that's why they don't have eyesight problems right because that would be the shittiest thing to do in an fps your character actually does not have 20 20 vision but everybody else does so good luck they don't do that here they they do a nice job of sort of integrating everything in and again the game is a little bit raw around the edges there are some issues with like you can see the knife that i'm holding going through certain graphics in an unrealistic way but again, a lot of this that you're seeing is just due to running it on low system specs. And the nice thing about running this is that like it is it's okay in my opinion to sacrifice a little bit of quality for playability. 
and I really do enjoy the fact that they gave you that option. Anyways, guys, that's just sort of my overview of this game. I'm not going to draw it out for too long or bore you guys with any of the details, but if you have questions, comments, anything like that, as always, please feel free to leave them down below, and if you guys are interested in seeing more Escape from Tarkov videos, maybe hit the subscribe button, because I'm definitely going to be doing some beginner guides. I'm going to be doing some stuff just going over how this game works. As you can see, I'm just getting into the game, and I feel like that's the best time to make these guides, because... That's when I know like the mistakes that I made, and once I fix those, I can make videos showing you guys how not to make the same mistakes. Anyways, um, that's it for now, so until next time, peace.